What's going on everyone? Welcome to the second video of our course, Book More Meetings with Make.com. If this is the, your first time watching this channel, my name is Saad. I build sales systems for companies that generate five to 10 book meetings a week, enabling them to make well over 100K in less than a quarter, uh, which enables me to make over 47 to $48,000 each, uh, ish <laughs> each month. So um, in this course, I am exactly showing you a step-by-step -step on how to build sales systems that you can sell for your uh, clients or implement them in your own business. If you notice, many people on, on the internet, on YouTube, talk about make.com, but very few of them actually show you how to build systems that drive you revenue and actually put you in front of customers that are interested and actually have the pain, right? And the budget of whatever you are selling. So, uh, in this video, we're going to talk about webhooks. Now, everyone online is talking about how webhooks are this crazy thing and trying, they're trying so hard to make it extremely, extremely like hard. Like webhooks is basically just a way to receive data from an API. That's all you need to know. So I'm just going to go to make.com. So I'm in the make.com UI, just the dashboard. I'm going to go and cl click on create new scenario. So I'm going to go to create new scenario and then I'm going to show you guys what a webhook is. Basically, if you search for webhook, I will find here custom mailhook, a custom webhook and a webhook response. So this custom uh, mailhook is essentially uh, whenever the whenever an email you have receives data. That's all. A custom webhook is basically just a URL that makes gener that make generates which you can put in an API, right? And you can receive data from that API into make, right? That's all you need to know. Webhook response is basically you can send data from make to another scenario or another API and just retrieve that data. So webhook response is actually pretty interesting and a lot of people don't talk about it. Basically webhook response, let's say you have a big scenario, a big flow for maintainability issues and scalability issues. What you can do is just send the data. Let's say you're retrieving data from an API and then you're going to take that data and send it to another flow in make.com exactly. And you can retrieve it and continue your flow instead of having like 50 different module in one flow. Okay. So, uh, let's actually show you a real life example of a webhook, uh, because this is what we, we all are, you know, interested in. So let's say for example, you are a B2B company, right? And you're managing, um, you know, your CRM and ClickUp, for example, and then you have uh, a lead, right? That comes in into your lead list. And every lead has an assignee, a stage, a funnel, a, co a company name, email, and phone. Um, uh, typically, uh, any CRM will have stages. Uh, in ClickUp, you can add a stage right here by clicking on this plus button and looking for drop down. So if you click on drop down, you can basically add uh, drop downs that you can use and basically stages where each lead that comes into your pipeline can be in. Um, and uh, another thing, I have a company name which is just a text field. You can click on this plus button and looking for text. Phone is uh, same thing, phone. And then you can add it right here and email, which is again, email. All right. Awesome. So now let's say we have a lead that came in from our funnel, which is email campaign. So we have inbound ads, email campaign, referral and partnership. So let's say our lead came from our email campaigns. I want to make sure I send an email to, uh, whatever the, uh, the person assigned to start the project. So, uh, as you guys can see, if I click on this right here, let's say our lead is on the negotiation stage, right? We send them the proposal. We're negotiating. Uh, let's say it's a 50 K deal, uh, which requires negotiations. I can just simply click on this button right here. So let's say we close the deal. So I close the deal. Um, I essentially I'm notifying the, the other department of development or the developers to start the project. So if I click on that, I essentially, I just received an email right here, which is the date 40, uh, it's 16, 20, uh, 27, which is 427. I will click on this and I will see, Hey, initial deal closed project, project, the scope start dates, and then assign team front end and back end. So what we did now is we essentially just sent a webhook using uh ClickUp, click API, and then we send it to make. So. I'm going to show you guys, uh, exactly. Let me just take off this, 
uh, scenarios from here. And then I'm going to show you guys how this works. So essentially, if I go to ClickUp, uh, let's say I have a ClickUp list right here. Um, and what I want to do is I'm going to go and click on automations, right? And then I can set up an automation that sends a webhook whenever a lead stage changes from a stage to another stage and basically send it to make. I'm going to show you guys how to do it. So I'm going to go to my new scenario, click on this plus button and look for webhook. So I'm just going to look for webhook and it's going to be custom webhook, right? So what I want to do is I want to click on add and then I'm just going to name this YouTube example webhook and then I'm going to click save. So now let's go back to my ClickUp list and I will essentially just delete this one right here. I'll just delete on it. And then what I'm going to do is I will click on, um, yeah, I will click on add automation. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to look for task and create a task and change it to custom field changes to field. So this field, I'm going to look for stage and I'm just going to map the stage. So the stage is going to be negotiation to closed one to notify the appropriate team. So I'm going to go to then. So once this happens, I want th this to happen. So what I'm going to do is going to call webhook. So call webhook and it's going to give me oh, call, call webhook. Okay. So it's going to give me like a new URL input. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to my make scenario and then I'm just going to copy this one. Right. And I click, okay. I'm just going to copy this and then I go back to my list. And then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to paste that in here. I'm going to click create and that's it. So let's go ahead and delete all of this right here, just like this. And then I'll take this off. All right. So if I click on now, if I click on negotiation and I go back to my mix scenario and I click run once, I can essentially just from negotiation to closed one. And then I'm going to receive information in my, uh, in my make account. So there you go. I found the payload, which is going to be a payload. The trigger ID, it's fr coming from ClickUp. This ID, date, exactly the date. Payload, I'm going to have all the information coming from here. Okay, so now what I, what I can do with this data is I can manipulate this data and do cool shit with it. So what I'm going to do is I want to get this data, which is this ID right here. This right here is the task ID. So essentially, whenever I'm receiving an information, it's, it, it will be a... Um, it will be from the, the, the source, which is going to be the task ID. So if I click here, this is the task IDs app dot click up slash G slash task ID. So I can just copy this and then go back to my make. If I click control F, it's the one right here. Okay. So if you want to hard code lead, le um, lead less, uh, if you want to hard code, uh, task, uh, task IDs, you can just do that. So what I'm going to do now is I want to get a task. I'm just going to look for, get a task and click up, just click on this plus button and look for click up and get a task. Look for, get a task. So go ahead, uh, add your connection right here and then click on the mapped one for task ID. It's always going to be this ID. So what I'm going to do is you guys know my two steps where I like to hard code the, the uh, ID just so I retrieve the data. So I will just click on ID. And then I'm just go go ahead and then click on this run module only by clicking on this uh, right click and then OK. So I'm going to retrieve everything, task name, that date close, uh, assignees, everything. So what I'm going to do is I can essentially um, basically look for send an email. So I can look for email, send email. And then what I'm going to do is I can essentially just send an email and say something like, hey, we this is working or like this project is uh, is going to get started. So if I go back, uh, I don't know if I go here and then for the recipients, I can just map in everything that I have here. So let's say I have an email, for example, um, this one right here and then, hey, webhook result. And then for the content type, it will be plain text. So the uh, email, the email addresses that you guys saw in the first beginning, I just um, built that using HTML in like 15 minutes because I'm a nerd and I wanted to make it beautiful for the video. So for the contents, for the purpose of this video, I'm just going to use the context as plain text. So, hey, uh, whatever, we can just map anything you want here. Uh, we can say, hey, um, company, uh, or we can do company is deal has been closed, send onboarding instructions. 
And then I'm going to click OK. Now, let's uh, click on, let's go back to our uh, ClickUp list. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back here. Click Negotiation. And then this email right here is we're going to retrieve it and send it back. So I'm just going to click on this right here. Click Run Once. And then if I go back to my list and I turn this from Negotiation to Closed One, uh, the scenario is going to retrieve the data, get a task, and send the email. If I go back here, and then I will refresh this, I will see the email right here. Oh, actually, it's not this email. I got to go back to the other one. Uh, let's go back here. So if I go here, I will see the email. So there you go. So lease flows has been closed and onboarding instructions. Awesome. So what I can do is I can essentially after this, I can just retrieve the data. I can uh, essentially trigger uh, like another hook that sends a, another trigger that generates a proposal automatically. Uh, you know, the sky is the limit. So what I can do now, I can just update the, the you know, the I can update a, uh, a field and click up. And I can set up an automation, another automation click up once a custom field changes from close to one uh, to, I don't know, like onboarding instructions sent. I can essentially just take this data right here, take this task and add it to another list, which could be clients. And the, 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 the project is going to get started. So, um, yeah, this is what webhooks are. Another thing is we can send a uh, webhook to another webhook scenario. So essentially what I can do is I can go ahead and just click on this plus button and look for HTTP, make a request. And what I can do is I can drag this one right here just to show you guys how webhook works. A webhook works. So I can just go ahead and then I, I will, for the method I'm gonna use post. So I'm posting, so that means I'm sending something, right? I'm posting, that means I'm sending. Uh, there's multiple methods which is get gets when you're retrieving something from uh, another api so i'm just going to go back here and then what i'm going to do is i'm going to take this right here i'm just going to copy this one and then let's say i i'm going to send this url right here and then for the body type i'm just going to look for raw content type is going to be application json and then I'm just going to uh, write some json so it's going to be first name equals um, sad and then let's just do uh, last name equals my last name. And then let's just look for this. So I'm sending this. If I click on this one right here, and then I'm going to click OK. And then I'm just going to run this. And if I make a query to this API, uh, after expected after JSON, OK, I think there's a wrong, something wrong. With, oh, uh, OK, first name, first name. Oh, yeah, we forgot a, uh, okay. So if I click run once, so I have a status 200. If I go back here and, oh yeah. So uh, unprocess that data in webhook queue. So I'm just gonna click on this. So I'll have the first name, last name. Uh, let's just try it again. So you guys can see. So if I have here, let's say I'm try oh, trying to send some data right here. Let's say trying to send another thing, which is email address, which is going to be my email address. Click on this right, right here. And then I'm just going to close this. And then if I click on OK, I can essentially just go back and then run once and then click for click out run once. And then I go back. I'll find all the data right here, which is how webhook webhooks work. So yeah, um, hope this helps. I'm gonna leave the blueprints for this uh, uh, webhook automation if you guys are interested into implementing this. And yeah, had a lot of fun uh, recording this video. I hope you guys found a little bit of value and just kind of like understand what uh, webhooks are and how to use them when building your own sales systems and when building your make scenarios. As you can see, it's not rocket science. People are trying to make it extremely hard when in reality it's not. So yeah, uh, hope you had fun watching this video and you took something from it. That's uh, the goal of this video. But yeah, thanks so much for watching this video and talk to you soon.